We're watching the head, watching the neck. Oh, those were fantastic. All right, everybody, Baron here. And I know you guys have always asked the question, who would win the first order with their ATM-6 walkers or the Galactic Empire with their at -ATs. So we've got three at -ATs. I'm going to be starting off with the at M6s of the first order. So what I'm gonna try to go for here. I know he's got strong legs, but maybe Maybe just maybe oh god. They try to snipe me. Did you see that? We all saw it. Oh Oh, oh Oh Yes Okay, take out the legs. That's the weakness of the walker, right? But the problem is they have three of them and the first one's the easier one to hit So it's gonna take some time Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, incoming cannon. Oh man, I gotta- Oh! That could work. Alright, I need to- I need to repair this, because we are having a serious issue here. With- Oh, you know what we need to do? Is we just need to expand this. Hold on. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, I need- I just need regular wood. I need to keep the neck up. Gotta keep your head up. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Protect the walker by not making it a walker anymore at all. Look at that. There we go. That should definitely help. Incoming cannon! Oh, no, that was... That was an excellent shot. And they just wrecked us because I was trying to repair instead of firing. I can't tell. Let's see. That was a good shot, right? That was a good shot. And I know that was a good shot as well. Oh, it's hitting the same spot. Oh, but it's just not enough. It's not enough. And they took out our main gun. And this one, it's lost its angle of firing, so we're going to have to change this to a door. Look at this burning, man. This is not good. That sucks. We just lost. Oh, my God. All right. Well, the top door's open, so let's fire at the leg. I think that looks good. Come on, let's see. Oh, we took out the head, though. Okay. That's good. We've basically disabled half of its offensive weaponry. All right, so now we've got a. You can see that what's happening here. We're going to put it back here on this guy. Is we're kind of getting into the technology area here. Now, this is 25% increased damage to heavy weapons. So once they're loaded, let's go ahead and hit that. And then let's see if I can't. Oh, we're out of energy. We've got. We need 3,000. I need to fire during the power up. And there we go. Fire. Oh, it was a little high. It was a little bit high. All right, so we've got one ATAT -AT walker of the Im Empire. The the Empire, the Imps. It's a it's a a kingdom of imps. We're gonna get two of these bad boys over here. Thirty five, seventy nine. There we go, and a hundred. All right, so now we're gonna go back to technology. We're kind of teching up right here. I mean, not kind of. We definitely are. We gotta protect the core. This one is gonna be the distraction, I guess. Oh God, really? We are low ish on. Minerals. Minerals? Minerals. Eh, I would call it minerals, right? Ooh, little sniper fire there. And I want to create... This is what we always do with our AT, our AT walkers. This time, now it's like, should we... After this, should we fight with the Imperial AT-ATs against the ATM-6s? We kind of know that their head is incredibly weak. And it's basically just held on. I feel like I'm incredibly slow at building. At least that's the way it seems like to me. Or maybe I just build too much. Okay. We've got the power up. And you know what? Actually, real quick. I want to put some sandbags right here. Maybe that'll protect a little bit. Okay. Ooh! Oh, come on. It's tilting. Oh, but it doesn't have the head here to overpower the tilt. Okay, we've got to invest in some better weaponry, I think. Maybe some lasers. And, um, let's see, what do we have for technology? We need an upgrade center. We're gonna put that here. Ooh, we could have gotten heavy ordnance, but I kind of want to upgrade my turbines. Wait, actually we can. Fire beam and laser? Or 20 millimeter cannon? Oh my god, they are firing at us over here. So we could always just armor this up. Protect against that sniper fire. There we go. And protect our technology. And this is for the 20 millimeter cannon. And the auto cannon, and we need 800 resources. And then we're gonna just go straight. Oh my God! Look at look at this. Oh, <gasps> oh God! Look at that! It happened. They're firing at us. All right, defend the walkers. Oh, I gotta wait. We gotta double up our iron over here. 
Call it, it's not iron, this is steel. We're not in the iron age. I guess we could upgrade this one. This one does not get hit. So let's try to fire at the head. Take the head off the snake. And if we're out of range, which we're not gonna be able to hit the head and we barely duff the foot. Oh, he's opening both. What has he got? A sniper? No, the cannon didn't fire. He's rebuilding the head, which will help us actually. I don't think he's got heavy ordnance up there. Ooh. Just realized we had left that open. 5,000 energy? Oh my god, you know what I've been slacking on? Is batteries. Maybe a little bit of these bad boys too. Bad boys? You haven't seen bad boys too? And we're almost good on full technology, but I think at this point we want a laser. What are these blue beams for? What does that mean? Are they super stressed or super strong? I don't, I've not seen that before. And I'm not familiar with what that means. What could it mean? Now, what we're gonna do is go for the head of the... This bad, this bad guy. I think that's... Let's see. <gasps> oh, they just opened up! That was a perfect shot. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so thankful. Now are they gonna close the doors, or can we... Oh, yes! Oh man, those were good. Now, if I had my cannon still here, I'm gonna try to put a laser here. Alright, I hope it's... Oh, it is big enough. Look, so we've got... We're gonna have a door, and then we're gonna have a shield right above it. Okay, we got... We should protect this with some more armor. And we wanna pre protect there. So this is... This is sloppy, but it is a defense. I will point out that it will work. <gasps> oh my god. Jeez, that was close. All right, we need to reef hit there. That, that was a perfect, perfect hit. Okay. Auto cannon firing first. We're gonna fire as high as our arc gives us. Actually, a little lower. We're gonna weaken up that leg. You're gonna fire. And then you're gonna fire. And I'm hoping this works. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, that was a cannon round. Where did it hit? Okay, a little lower. Yikes, this is... It's getting a little sloppy sloppy. I've got some backup plans. And so I'm gonna need to put in a sniper. Let's go ahead and, uh, delete this. So we'll drop that metal beam. Whoa, what was that? Oh my god, right where I'm building? Or was that me? Was that them or me? Oh, that's good, that's good. That's almost done. And by that, I mean our super laser. Our ATM-6 is finally gonna get the firepower it needs. So this is... 25% damage to heavy weapons? Fantastic. Let's hit it right in the leg, boys. We're gonna try to take it down. Yes, that's it. Oh, not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. That was a little too high. Oh! Yes! Two at down. We've only got the final one left. All right. So now that that's done, I'm going to get another sniper and put it here. Because I'm thinking what we want is to use- we, we're, I want to have the missiles ready. So we're gonna get heavy missiles. And we've got three of them. The laser's ready to fire. Oh. They're firing with snipers. That's totally fine with me, really. Ooh. <laughs> I say that. And then they're pinging away at me. I'm gonna try to hit- what do I want to try to hit? I want to try to hit the head. I don't know if I've got the angle. Oh! Oh my! Oh my goodness, we just blew it straight up. Okay, fantastic. And we're gonna take it out with these missiles once they're done. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I think... Let's go ahead and fix this bad boy up. We're gonna use the heavy missiles, and then we're gonna fight the ATM-6s. We're gonna see if it's easier with the AT-ATs. They had cannons, I'm pretty sure they were well armed. There we go, we'll, we'll, we'll protect it. Look, this doesn't even look like an ATM-6 anymore, and this guy looks like an octopus. So let's go ahead and hit it in the legs. I should be able to hit the head if I timed it right. Oh my god, I, I think I did. The legs and the head around the same time? Oh, this thing is still up? That thing's operational! Fire the laser. There you go. You can repel firepower this magnitude, ha <laughs> ha! So this one is a win for the first order. I'm gonna fire missiles from orbit. Imag see? Echo base, oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> Get riggedy riggedy wreck, boys! Alright, so now we've gotta what? Fight whoever this is. I'm gonna blast him in the face with a cannon. Oh, well that'll work too. Actually, kind of worked better, didn't it? 
Oh yeah, the music's picking up. Okay, so I've got two ATAT -AT walkers. Can I hit? Ooh, we can't. Okay, what I've got to do then is work on some energy production here. We are lacking in technology. I want all the technology. We'll put it in this ATAT -AT walker that's in the back because he, this at at, is uh, safe and secure. You're also going to be, let's do this. You're gonna be our energy producer. Oh yes. Now let's go with, let's go with the device. We'll put a battery here and then we'll put two fans to up our energy production. And wow, 315, but our minerals is, that's the, that's the limiting factor here. So let's, can I put them here? Oh, I can. It's amazing, like imagine if this was really how ATAT -AT walkers were. All of a sudden they land on your planet, you're the Rebel Alliance, they're like, we will defend this, and then all of a sudden they just make bases, <laughs> and they are self-producing. Look at this, oh I love it, I love it, okay. So once that's done, I can upgrade the mines I do have. I actually don't really have any mines. Okay, now they should be able to fire back at me. Did they? They're just rebuilding it. Okay, so what I need to do, I'm gonna control group these as one, and then I'm gonna target this place again. They're not using, see, right now they're just little mini guns. And after they fire, I'm gonna upgrade them to the bigger ones. Let's see, do they have any missiles? They do, actually, they've got a lot. Oh, I love that. All right, so I'm gonna upgrade one of them. Can I upgrade you? Yes, I can. All right, let's upgrade that. Interesting enough, no, I won't be able to get any, wait. I could theoretically put missiles here. <gasps> Oh my god, yes. Oh, see, these are- look at this! The Star Destroyer! Okay. So they're using their MGs to fire at me right now. So I'm gonna create a strong underbelly here. Oh, we're low on minerals. Alright, so that being said, we need to upgrade- and look, they've already rebuilt it again. You jerks. Alright, so that's where I hit that tower. It was kind of a low shot and it tipped it over. But they're rebuilding. <laughs> you don't need that tower. And actually, I wanna... I'm gonna try to hit these little towers in the front. Ooh. That was a bad shot. Did you hear that noise? I wonder if we could tip that over. Okay. Now I'm gonna see if I can't hit this tower this time. Now, Control Group 2 isn't able to fire just yet. They're still being produced. Ooh, the big missile's ready. Hopefully... Ooh, yeah! All right, so orbital bombardment from our Star Destroyer is really going to be the best. I'm gonna upgrade both of you to big missiles. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, and we're gonna put, we're gonna try to get our mining, actually our mining's pretty good, honestly. We need storage though, and our ability is ready. Look at this, man. This ATAT -AT is a super base. Oh yeah, and let's also work on technology. We're saving up. All right, we want to upgrade you. We are investing in a long siege on Echo Base on the planet of Hoth. The Rebel Alliance is here. Oh, apparently they were hitting me with missiles. Those jerks. Now, how did this miss? All right, well, who do I want to bombard now? Oh, we didn't have the money to launch the big one, so it's just a an assortment of little guys. All right, so hitting them is actually going to be tricky. How do we get a sniper? Here we go. This is how we do it. What I'm trying to do is get a sniper to be able to aim down on them from above. Oh wait, did I? Okay, good, I didn't, I didn't close the hole. All right, so this is what? It cost 4,000, 4,000 energy. Oh, that was the, that was the issue. All right, we're firing, we're firing all the missiles. This is a orbital bombardment. Big missiles coming in, boys. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh no. Okay, time to fire the AT-ATs. Now. Come on, baby. Fire that cannon. Yeah, hit him. Okay, so destroying this, I'm pretty sure their reactor is in one of these bad boys. They've got these mortars. They're not using them. I'm not sure why. They've been firing their MG. Oh, they are firing the mortars. All right, so this one is going to have to be used to defend against aerial bombardment. So we'll put some machine guns up here. I need I need more storage, though, I'm fairly certain. All right, let's actually get that technology. I can actually build down here, and I, I kind of want to do that. See, look, the AT-AT -AT walker is just, like, invested in attacking this planet. 
You will be defeated, you worms. All right, that's nice. This at AT is such a boss. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to get a flat gun, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, we should probably connect. Look at, look at the wobbling in the middle. And this will actually just give more structural integrity, I, I'm fairly certain. I hope. I hope that's how it works. Yeah. This seems, this seems to be in order. Okay, so. Now I wanted a, I wanted a flat gun. And there we go, that should be decent at defending myself from aerial bombardment. Ooh, take that out. I don't know what that guard tower is. Oh, one, oh! We found it! Okay, perfect, perfect. So, that would be one reactor down. How do I hit that? We're getting close and you can hear the music. Ooh, that's too short. I need to aim up, but not too far because then it just kind of skirts there. And by skirt, I mean like it would narrowly miss and then it would hit this area. All right, I'm targeting it with all of my missiles. Oh, only the big ones fired. Oh, perfect shot. The Star Destroyer. Orbital bombardment. Oh boy, I love it, I love it, I love it. I, I was not expecting that to work. Okay, so the next one is tough. Because I gotta get rid of this thing. Yeah, man, we, we gotta up our uh, our battery storage. Come on, just get the big one through. Yes! Oh, -hoo -hoo! oh it's disconnected completely now. They're disconnected from all of these anti-aircraft trenches. By destroying this, how is he still able to produce? Is there another reactor in here? <gasps> There's a reactor right here, I think. So we're gonna do aerial bombardment. I mean, I, I feel like... All right, here it is. Yeah! Two reactors down. All right, so they no longer have this base. So I wanna get rid of these structures so I can fire over the cannons. I could always, like, um, build up and build, like, a Death Star laser. So the Empire always had these crazy- they were, like, the bad guys in those James Bond movies. And they just made- oh my god, this is so wobbly. I'm not sure if I-beams are, like- are I-beams better? There we go. But that should help, because what I'm gonna do is- I'm basically blocking this turret from firing. <laughs> Let's see how close I get to my own at at Oh! Well, I'll be darned! Alright, let's try the laser here. Now, as long as I don't shoot my own thing... Oh, look. There we go. How many missiles are fired? He- he no longer has any aircraft support. This guy is very limited. But you can see the reactor there. This could actually blow it up. Oh! Oh, I thought we had it. The super laser is being constructed, my lord. Let's see if that'll hit. Fire! Oh! Oh, come on. It's about to fall. You may fire when ready. Fire the missiles, gentlemen. Fire the missiles. This is the Battle of Hoth. Incoming! Oh, there's, there's no way. Okay, so this map is awesome. Now, in order to get the BFG 10,000, we have to unlock a lot of technology, so we're gonna have to build our way up. We're also gonna have to secure our ship, because if you can tell, look, this is a CIS or Confederate... Confederacy of Independent Systems? Uh, you, you know, the dude with the forearms? Uh, this was his ship. We're gonna have to defend it, and I think we can do that. We'll just, uh, you know... Build a couple of uh, nice sturdy metal beams here. Get some more minerals because we need the metal. The metals? The metals. <laughs> and it looks like we're fighting in orbit because uh, this is not anti-gravity right now, which is gonna be pretty funny. Look at the way the ship is just wobbling. Oh God. And the beams are starting to turn red because we're putting so much pressure on them. <laughs> A lot of weight, but we need that energy to power this thing. Oh god, what am I doing? We're doing it live. Oh look, it's even flashing. It's like, Baron, this is a terrible idea. Please stop doing this. And I'm like, nah, bro. Well, <laughs> if we were to get shot right here, we would lose that core. But that's not our problem. It's whoever's sitting in the bridge observing this battle. So we'll armor this up, and then I'm gonna use this as a little bit of energy generation as well. Oh god. I mean, it is what it is, boys. 
We gotta fight the good fight. All right, so we've got three out of the five requisite technologies. Actually, let's double check. We need a factory and a sturdy platform to fire it off of. I'm thinking right here is pretty good. So it looks like the enemy is massing energy of their own on the lower ship, but the upper ship, it looks like they're building a shield, which you can see a turbine back there. They can generate energy that way. I just realized that instead of putting any aircraft defenses here, we should probably put our giant laser here. All right, so they're being awfully silent over there and they're protecting their cores. So let's send a little bit of any aircraft gunfire there to kind of see what's going on here. Keep them honest. So this is our factory right here. And once it's done, we're gonna be able to build the BFG 10,000. Big freaking gun. It's a laser. Is it gonna laser? I guess it depends. But I'm really excited to see this thing in action. Let's go ahead and upgrade our energy producing turbines. We've got mines that have been upgraded and uh, there is a mod out there called, and they call it a mine. Oh God, I can finally build it. Yes, all right, so we've got this new magna beam and we have the old plasma laser and the fire beam. So this is kind of like, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Look at how freaking big this is. I don't know how this is gonna work out. <laughs> it's so freaking massive. We'll put it here and these need to be upgraded to back braces or I guess degraded. They're firing at our turbines. They know the weapon systems that we have available to us. So let's go ahead and just fire that. It, you can tell they're ba building something massive, but right around here is where their nuclear powered reactor is. We've also got the howitzer, which is kind of a new weapon system, which I really, really love. Oh, snap. Well, this is going to be a little bit late. They're firing swarm missiles. My anti-aircraft defenses did a pretty good job at stopping the majority of it, but not all of it. And... We were trying to build these flak anti-aircraft defenses, but uh, the first one was uh, destroyed. And we're continuing to put even more pressure on this, but I think back bracing isn't structurally like supportive. So what we can do is try to upgrade all of this to kind of alleviate the pressure to some degree. It doesn't look like it's doing much because it's still blinking red, but you know what? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I guess we could do this. No, we can't. Well, we tried. There was an effort. Okay, it's about to be done. <laughs> Let's see this thing. Oh my gosh. It's freaking gorgeous. It looks like it's from like, I don't know. Oh my God, we've got a limited firing arc. You may fire when ready. All right, it's powering up. <laughs> it's like a Death Star Ray. We finally have a right and proper Death Star Ray out here. It does take a little while to reload. Oh my God, look at the number of swarm missiles coming in. I guess we cut down a lot of them. And we lost that guy. I feel like we have like the super battleship Yamato or something like that. And we're like, oh yeah, the Americans have carrier based aircraft. Maybe we should upgrade our air defenses. All right, so here we go. They just got done, and you can see them firing their missiles. They've even got some big ballistics in there, but this time only one got through. <laughs> All right, let's fire our cannon. Let's see if we're on target. The big howitzer is going, going. Oh, what a beautiful connection. And look at this. They're trying to use any aircraft defenses. Oh, big old howitzer shells, boys. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna aim this turbo laser and try to destroy this thing in one hit. Look at that. M oh my God, all of the missiles were defeated. So let's go ahead and open up and fire. We don't wanna hit this shield right here because it would deflect. But if I aim a little bit lower than that, which I believe I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. All right, fire the laser. Oh my God, it cut it in half. Yes! Oh, there must be another core somewhere deep inside. I'm trying to ascertain the position of it. But you know what? Our super battleship Yamato. Four howitzer shells out at the same time. We should be able to detonate at least one of the cores. Okay, we just figured out where these Star Destroyers store their other cores. And it seems to be in the midsection area. Look at this. But since this was disconnected, they've lost access to a lot of their missile launchers here. It's just gorgeous. When the enemy ship is just burning up. My god, look at the amount of firepower we have. 
I can flack them. We'll fire another salvo. We haven't honed in our shots, but we might not need it. Yes, we will. Because one of them actually fired under the Star Destroyer. I don't entirely know how that happened. And our BFG is powering up again. It does take a while. Ooh, some weapons have explosive rounds. Once this cannon salvo is ready again, we'll just fire it up. But let's get the BFG here. I don't know if I can aim any lower, which is a problem, to finish this off. So we're powering it up. Ah, uh, yeah, I think the core's right here, and we can't aim that far down. Maybe if I do back bracing here? No, you just can't aim any further down. It's impossible. That's... that sucks. Well, you know what they say. If it's awesome, why not build another one? All right, BFG. Yeah, he's... Let's see if this arc... I think it would just be inside of it. So what, then what we have to do is... Changes the back bracing so it doesn't affect the firing arc. All right, now what we need to do is fire all these a little bit lower, I think. Well, one of them doesn't need to be fired lower. We made all of our rounds even more explosive, but unfortunately we were terribly inaccurate and only two made contact, but not in a vital area. Well, just because we can't hit the core doesn't mean we shouldn't still shoot. What if I can shoot up if I get rid of all of this? Can I shoot through my own ship? I feel like I should be able to. But I can't. It won't let me. Wait. It's gonna let me. <laughs> you know, when you destroy your own ship just because you're trying to get to the enemy. You know, because reasons. Fire away, gentlemen. Oh, you heard it. There we go. Oh my god, all of those were pretty dang accurate. And now they're raining burning wreckage down on the ship below. And we've even got a secondary BFG that is getting prepared to fire upon thine enemies. So between all of the new weapon systems, like there's all sorts of new weapons that happen in the moonshot that even I wasn't quite familiar with. Like I'm still trying to figure out what the purpose of the magna beam is. I couldn't even pronounce it. I'm like, my, my, my beams? Ma Lima bean. All right, this one is ready, so we should be able to destroy it, but I think if it was a one-core ship, you could destroy it in one hit with this laser. Like, look at this. Is that not- what? What is happening here? Sir, so we need to fire through our own ship. It is destiny, written in the stars. <laughs> Didn't do a whole lot, but you know what? It's cool. All right, I'm trying to fire this shell very... Oh god, that's that's a beautiful hit. That might detonate it. Jeez. So what I did was, this is an artillery cannon, so you can fire very lightly, almost even hitting my own ship. But we can hit down, we can indirect sh fire at this thing from our cannons that are way up here. So I think the magic number is 10% there, and let's go with 11% there. And that actually looks pretty solid. That's a detonation. This one should set the reactor alight. And by that I mean, I have no idea what I'm talking about apparently. But don't worry, BFG is almost ready. And we have an exposed core. You may fire when ready. What, what Star Wars movie was that from? I just remember. Well, it's obviously one with the Death Star, right? So here we go. Direct contact. Oh my goodness. Who is in charge of the firing acquisition? Oh yeah, that, that's me, isn't it? Well, you know what? Hey. Fire all of the howitzer rounds. One of these is gonna hit. Yeah! <laughs> Blue water navies control the seas. And the aircraft carrier is the instrument of that dominance. But what are we up against today? The Galactic Empire. Wait. This is no ordinary at, -AT. This is... This is a first order ATM6 walker. All right. So, now obviously, carriers have pretty good defense mechanisms, right? They've got different systems that they can use to defend themselves. Here we're gonna use a bunch of swarm missiles to try to see... Ooh, that was pretty effective, but it was not enough to get through the armor of this ATM-6. Now, I know, we all watched the Battle of Hoth, right? And we saw snow speeders going for the legs and taking it out. I mean... <laughs> 
you know, we all thought Star Wars was fake. But if it's from a galaxy a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, then it was only a matter of time before someone traveling at the speed of light from the Star Wars universe made it here to Earth. And I have to defend myself. Now, here's the thing. Technology-wise, I can build airplanes. That is what we're going to do. We're going to use airplanes to try to take out this ATM-6. Because there are now airplanes in ports. It's pretty freaking incredible. Look at this. We've even got an oil derrick. Gosh. I like, you gotta love the mods, man. You gotta love the mods, and I love the mods. So right now I gotta build up my economy at the same time, doing my best to protect- Oh, here we go. I'd love to do this. Put a little- a few sandbags in front of your core. And I'm gonna leave these so I can do armored planks as a second layer. We can have multiple layers of armor, so when the enemy does decide to fire his main cannons, because the ATM-6, from what I heard, intelligence reports- Yes, of course we knew! Oh my god! Repair everything! See, we knew. We were aware of the firepower of that magnitude. We were prepared by it. Now, unfortunately, this thing does not have any, you know, kind of... What is that sound? Oh, that is me. That is me getting frisky and risky. And I'll tell you what. First, the best defense is a strong defense. That's what they say. And I believe him. I'm inclined to believe him. He's... Oh my god! This ATM-6 is incredibly powerful, sir! We need to absorb this continually until we are ready. Darn the torpedoes, man! Oh god. We need to delete that one. That one's in a bad spot. And they call it a mine. We're gonna start putting our mines back here. Because I think... What I did was I put this thing way too close to the front, and now it's in range of the ATM-6's main guns. That is like a formidable walker. Sir? Oh, I tried to give him a little haircut. It did not work. It was actually poorly executed. Incoming! Oh my god, seriously? That made direct contact. So we have contact with the enemy. They're very angry. We'll send them a letter, a cease and desist letter, please. Incoming! Oh my god, that cannon round went straight over the command tower here, which was also the, basically where our targeting computer, aka this man is. That is how we target our missiles. So I've got to be very careful here. I've got to- I've got to work on my energy production. This looks like a pretty good spot. Oh my gosh, but we're dangerously low on energy. Which is why we're building these in the first place, to increase the production. Remember, any war effort is going to be dependent on a strong economy. Oh god, look at this. This is just a mess. Look, we can't even fire our missile systems because we're just so low on energy. Okay. So I think they're targeting our oil, Derek, which, yes, I know, I know, we put too close. Oh my god, that was a brilliant shot! What is the wooden door? We don't want to use wooden doors. Well, we go, we don't need doors. Yes, we do. We're gonna need doors. We're gonna need a lot of things, guys. We are gonna need a great many things. Incoming! ATM-6 has made contact, he's firing again with his main cannon- Oh my gosh, it's gonna be even harder to trip up the legs now. We're gonna need a ton of air support, and a ton of air support we will get. Alright, you know what, let's try one of these. This is a new weapon system, a Gatling gun- Ooh, that looks nice! Alright, we'll control group to that, and when it's ready, we shall fire- when ready, I mean, that's, that's just how they say it in Star Wars, right? The Empire. Alright, let's get the upgrade center. We're doing a lot better, though, at absorbing the incoming fire here. I'm firing as many of these missiles as I can. I think one of them isn't ready, but we're trying to just deal with this guy. Alright, is this thing ready? Oh my god, this thing is taking a lot. This Gatling gun- Ooh! Goodness! Great score! Oh, don't do that, don't do that. Don't hit my Gatling gun, please. Yes, I know it's exposed. And I'm at your mercy. Ooh, that is low energy. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna be able to fire all three. There we go. All three missile systems are targeted to the top. The ATM-6 is completely built out and fleshed out. So we've gotta do just our absolute best. All right, here we go. Let's try the Gatling gun. Let's see what this is all about. I'm gonna aim a little higher. Oh, it's like a Vulcan. This is, it's named the Gatling gun, but it's like a, a like a, what is, what's the name of the Vulcan system that is used for, American- Oh my god, I, I kinda want a few more. Alright, let's fire- wait, he opened the gun! Oh, he opened it and I just barely missed my opportunity. Alright, target painting, baby, everything's going. I really like this thing a lot. 
The Vulcan is sweet. Oh, he's got a flak gun in here. Okay, so what we need to do is target it with our minigun, which I don't think is going to be too difficult. I think he fired from... I'm going to guess this bottom level. Oh, God. He duffed his shot, which was close. Ooh. All right. Let's go here. Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. That could be critical. We got to remember that for the future. All right. Target painting. I love it. I love it when they say that. Target painted, target painted. Then we send out our cluster missiles. The flat gun is still alive? There's another one. All right, so we need, to, we need to continue to upgrade our technology here. Oh, shoot! He's got EMP. We have no anti-aircraft defense right now, so we're definitely going to need something. The Vulcans don't seem to do it. We need some flak and fast. All these buildings are being done, so I think what we're going to have to do is going to do a few stopgap measures here with some machine gun teams for now. Ooh, ooh, that flak gun. You know what? Fine. There we go. We got rid of one of them. I think there's another one up here. Let's target it. So I'm not sure where the core is on this thing. I can't see it. It must be further back. Maybe more centered. That'll keep him honest. Oh my god, that's a big freaking cannon up there. Uh, okay. Here we go. Now we can finally do this. So we're gonna have to do... Is you want the maximum level, I'm fairly certain. Let's- let's just double test. Yes, it fits. Okay, good. Fire the minigun! Dude, that minigun is sweet, and it really gets in there. So it's like what? Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! EMP directly hit. Uh, it knocked out two of our things, but don't worry. Check this out. Alright, let's upgrade that. And then let's get... Let's get a little bit of that. We can even turn this to iron. As iron sharpens iron, so my planes will sharpen the legs off of that. ATM-6. I'm really excited to use these because let's just say they use a very bold attack method. Okay, now I want to get my targeting computer online. Now we don't need those guys anymore, so we'll sell them and look at how strong... Oh man, this looks like it's kinda... It's very heavy here. Alright, now we can target again with our swarm missiles, but remember these are more or less just to kinda keep the enemy on its toes. There we go, we got some fires here. I still want to hit that cannon. It's it's particularly dangerous. Okay, here we go. This is our first plane. Let's send it at the legs. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> it fires its machine guns, and then it goes straight in. That's dedication. Oh my gosh, that's weak. That is a weak area. All right, open the doors. All right, we're going to have two planes coming in now. <laughs> I love how he shoots all the way in. Here comes the follow-up. So, I think it's clear that the planes are gonna take their time. Here we go. We'll launch the other plane at the legs again, and we'll fire the minigun right above it. Oh, look at that! It's getting in there, man. What is this? Oh, that's what it is. Ooh, the flak shot it down, though. All right, two more planes. Target the ATM-6. Oh my god, that was a big cannon round. Oh, I think, I think... Yes! Come on, minigun, you gotta be ready. Yes! We destroyed the main cannon. Flak, I need to take that out. Okay, good. All right, here we go. We're sending all three planes of our Air Force in. I love the addition of planes. I'm wondering, what other cool vehicles could you use? It'd be cool if water was actually a thing. Oh, that looks bad. That's a bad look for you. First order. The first order. All right, so that door's open. I want to hit it. There we go. I knew you had a weapon hiding there. Alright, so at this point, I'm tar- I'm sending all three planes to the same point. This area here. Oh, they just opened up. Oh! He was just about to fire a laser, and the plane took it out. That is just brilliant. It was almost like that was the Death Star. Oh my gosh. Now we can do- Oh shoot, we're on fire. <laughs> Flat guns? Oh, the brilliantly done, brilliantly done. Alright, let's try this again. Target the same place. I don't think there's any more weapon systems over here, so we'll really be able to weaken it with the auto cannons from the planes, because those don't look like 50 caliber machine guns. Those are probably 20, 30 millimeters. Now remember, our goal, now we have access to these legs. They are made out of imperial grade steel, or dura steel, or plasteel. I'm trying to remember what it is in the Star Wars universe, because obviously it's a little bit different than ours, but not by much. All right, here we go. All three planes. Let's see just how strong are these legs. They definitely get weakened by the cannons. 
Oh my gosh, that, that just won't work, will it? Hmm. Look at that, that minigun straight to the nose, man. Alright, so I can't build more than three plane silos. It looks like they're checked out, right? So, unfortunately, we're limited to three. We got a fast reload ready when we want it. What I'm trying to do is build the big fragging cannon. This is- so it's just- remember this bad boy? Oh shoot, that's actually kind of weak structurally. It's right over something very precious to me too. One of my oil derricks. Alright. Once again... Oh, we don't have a targeting computer because I sold it. Because I was going to try to get two more planes for our carrier, right? But, I mean, needless to say, we are encountering some resistance here. I would love to see someone make a Star Wars mod for forts. It could totally be done. Instead of these planes, we could have X-Wings, right? Or Y-Wings. Oh my god, that sounds like something's breaking over there. That's a shame. Alright, we're sending all three one after the other. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it, but it just doesn't do enough. Here we go. We're gonna have to weaken it. We're gonna do- we're- oh, that's what we should do right before it. Oh, I just realized that this guy's blocked by the big cannon. Alright, so they're loaded up. We're gonna fire the minigun first, weaken it up. Alright, we just fired, now the planes- oh, maybe that was a little bit early? Ooh. A lot of those cannons are missing, but some of them are working. Oh! That's good. I think maybe if we do a few more Gatling guns, which is definitely technology that these things would have. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, let's wait a little bit till the plane launches and then fire it. Alright, the timing may be a little bit better. Oh, it's going down! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Now we've got no gravity. It has three different cores. Alright, we're gonna need some weapons technologies here. Alright, oh god, oh god, oh god. The enemy's already building. Alright, let's see if we can't get some windmills on here to boost our production. Will these things fit? They won't fit. Oh, they will. Alright, good. Um, that'll boost our energy production. Now let's upgrade our mines. We're gonna get some tech when we can. Okay, yeah, we're definitely limited on mining right now. They call it a mine. We need it to be a mine if we're gonna defend against what we have here. I really wish I could just pause it when I'm doing single player, but this is made by Mr. Rage Alert, the man, the myth, the legend, the map maker in forts, where we have so much fun. So we've got anti- we've got no gravity on, I believe, unless something messed up. Alright, let's get, uh, some more weapons tech, we'll put it in a safer area. I need to protect my cores, actually, so let's... Let's go ahead and upgrade some of this. Oh my gosh, we are so limited. Can I... There we go. We'll protect that one. Now we got it. Oh, this one is such in such a precarious spot. We'll upgrade the surrounding area. Wait, that does not seem like gravity's on. Is that no gravity? I can't tell. I'm fairly certain it is. Maybe it's just the weight. That I don't know. That doesn't seem to make sense to me. Now I just now I remember that we got to protect this whole area because it's incredibly weak. I'm not sure. There we go. We'll do that. Okay, so what are the enemy ships doing? Do we have any weapon systems that we can launch now? Maybe a few mortars would be interesting. We're gonna have turbo laser batteries. We're gonna- we're gonna set our first set of turbo lasers. That'll be control group one. We're gonna be able to rain on that. And that should be able to cut them off from a vast majority of their potential resources. We can also fire missile pods here. We are going to need a lot if we're gonna survive this. I'm realizing how- how much of a pickle we really are in. Alright, so let's get some mining storage. Come on, 200 cap plus 300? Yeah, there it is. Alright, um, now that the upgrades is done, let's go ahead and get a few more upgraded mines. Because you can see this is- this is like an arms race, what's going on here. Alright, so we need what, 2500 energy? Definitely gonna want more energy. Oh my gosh, I've gotta protect these things so bad. All right, let's go. Let's go here. Yeah, is this is this really no gravity? Hmm. Okay. First batteries fire. Wait. Well. Yeah. No. Well, actually. Well, they're, they're gonna hit something. We're just gonna keep just firing everywhere. Yeah. If if there was no gravity, these mortars would not be working. So I'm glad <laughs> that there actually is a little bit of gravity on. I thought I had selected it in the mods area. But I must not have. I must have, like, maybe 
Hmm. There we go. Fires everywhere. All right, let's uh, let's get. Ooh, we could arm this with some really good rocket missiles here. We'll attract a lot of attention, but I think it's worth it. I don't know what's happening over there, but it sounds pretty dangerous. Um, let's go with some fans up here. 99% efficiency, Captain. Oh my God, this is this is absolutely dangerous. This this component here is what's going to keep this thing together. All right, so have we protected all the cores? Not really super efficiently. Or not really comfortably, where I'm like, oh yeah, I would definitely be able to defend myself here. This one's gonna be pretty easy to defend, I think. What if you could have, like, uh, bases versus organic monsters? Would that be awesome? Or would that be freaking awesome? Alright, they've definitely fortified their command towers, both of them. You can see that they're a little bit different, though. Um, and they've got shield generators up. Oh, here we go. Now we'll do control group two. We're gonna fire some EMP rocket. Wait, what? what's up with that? This one... This one needs to be a, a, a bay. Oh, incoming flat guns. Classic. Classic AI going after my uh, energy production. So we're gonna do the old shark teeth defense. This is so... this is so precarious. That bridge, I would like to keep the core operational just because it's an extra target for the enemy to shoot at. It helps me survive, you know. A little bit longer in case the other two go down. You never know when you're gonna need it. You can't write it off. And let's go ahead with just a regular back beam there. There we go. Alright, they're using their mortars. Oh, that is dangerously close to hitting me. We EMP'd that shield. Alright, I think it's time to upgrade these bad boys once they are done firing. Actually, I'm thinking of keeping one EMP. Go fire you a little lower. And that will be a relatively- Oh! That was a- that's a decent hit. Alright, let's see your flat gun. Oh my god, a perfect sweep. Alright, we're gonna need more technology. Oh my god, I'm just sitting here. Like, like an idiot. Alright. Now, what- I mean, I want- I want, like, TIE Fighters, I want X-Wings flying around in the background, obviously with Star Destroyers in, like, Rebel ships, but I feel like- I don't know, I feel like forts could really go to- I feel like forts went way down the PvP trail, but if they went down the PvE and co-op trail, I think- I think they could sell a ton, man. Alright, let's see how this works out. Two- one EMP and then two big- oh, wow. Little off target there. Total miss. It's enough to weaken them. We're not taking too many shots. I think they're not able to really get any weapon systems to bear on me. Although, it looks like they're trying to with this giant tower. Alright, so now it's time to get the tech that we need. We got one more. We're gonna be able to build lasers. I feel like lasers will not be able to be blocked. However, they do have shields. Right? Oh, those hit. The flat guns totally missed me. Oh, there we go. Oh, two of them landed. Oh, look at that. A total disconnect here. Oh, he was working on missiles. Oh my god. That's dangerous. Let's let's hit those things while they're not as defended. Oh my god. That's that's dangerous stuff. I'm glad we saw that. Oh, because look at this. Here comes the EMP. They're EMPing us. I'm going to need some defense batteries here. Oh, here we go. Here it is. We don't have- we don't have the weapon systems to defend against this. Oh my god. Alright, I think what we could do- that's not good. That does not sound good. Where'd we get hit? Oh my god! Alright, uh, quick, quick, quick materials! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, they're firing! They're really laying on the pain right now. Uh, did, uh that flat gun is- is available though, and I think it might just be in time too. There we go. Oh, that's a big cluster. Oh, okay. The clusters aren't as strong. But that's not to say they won't destroy us. Oh my god, that- I don't know what- Okay. Wow, dude, they are- they're really laying on the pain here. Um, and we're not able to really dispatch them. I think I want- There we go. We're gonna have a really, really good AA defense coming up here. Oh my god, that's bad. This core is gonna drop. More than likely. Hmm, do I need to do twin doors, maybe? Let's- let's cable this up a little bit more. Just in case. We have no real- wait, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh! 
We need, we need MGs. We need a few MGs, and I think I know just the spot to put them. So we're gonna have, like, these little extended blisters here. And we're gonna put some MGs on these. Oh, God. Oh, the, the, the primary flat gun is gone. Maybe I'll switch it to a MG nest. Oh my god, look at this. We'll have that guy just sneakily, cheekily sitting out the back there. Fire! Oh god, look at this. Ooh! Oh, that's why. The flat guns are killing them, are, are destroying themselves. Let's go ahead and put some sandbags here. There we go, but that should help. And let's go ahead and extend this. And then we're gonna put a flat gun down here. And that should help. All right, so we, we, we're trying to stop their offensive weaponry. Ooh, one hit. One managed to connect. Look at this. What's up with that? These guys are not doing a very good job at stopping that. And this thing is barely hanging on, man. All right. Oh. The incoming missiles, you know what that means. All right. I'm going to put... I don't know why I put them there, because that's, that's the target of this. Oh, those were big ballistics. Yeah, we need more, we need more at the front here, I think, in order to really be, here we go, I'm gonna put a flat cannon on the front of this thing. Actually, I don't know if I, that, that's an interesting spot. I wanna keep this as a, as a fire bay. We're gonna need it to, here we go, we're gonna operate our first laser here. Now we're gonna need a, a little defense here, alright. Oh, wow. All right, mine are gonna connect. We're making good connections here. They're firing here. I think we definitely are gonna be able to defend against this, man. Okay, now it's a matter of where else can I sneak a big, powerful gun? Probably right here. <laughs> all right, all right. Weapons technology. Oh, and you know what else I could do? I just heard a weird siren. Man, those, those flat guns are not the best. Here we go. Oh, yeah. All of them hit this time. All right, it's time to fire the laser. Turbo laser, oh, there we go. Right into that, like, oh man, we weren't able to. Oh shoot, we're on fire. That's bad, we were we were losing some of our cables. Oh, we just missed that. We're rocking that ship though. I'm curious what happens, like, oh, can we, can we get them both? Yes, we can, and we will. We will not be denied glory. All right, so naturally, it's time to upgrade to ballistic missiles. Oh my god, that was a nice shot. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fire. Where are they? Fire the turbo laser. Ooh, just under the shield, which is nice. Now, this guy has a very limited angle on anybody, really. Oh! It can still do damage. Oh, you can see the missiles sticking out. Excellent. Oh, all three of them down. All right, so I need a target right here. Do I have a weapon system? Oh man, we lost a lot right there. All right, let's try this maybe a little lower. See what happens here. Ooh, this would be a really good disconnect. Oh, we got we got fires up there. Okay. Now we're going to need a sniper. We're going to put him down here. Oh, that sounded bad. Where did it hit though? All right. There we go, hitting the tail end of it. Oh my god, they're really whittling down my AA defense. Trying to. Woo! <laughs> I just put a guy right where they sniped. <laughs> Kinda scary. Yeah. The enemy went for missiles, we're going for laser tech, but we are gonna have missiles as well. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. They're firing. Oh my god, that is so many missiles! Oh! Major destruction! We've lost one of the cores. We've lost a considerable amount of our defenses, too. You know what? Fine. We just need one thing in order for this to work. Ah, It's not ideal. What?! How did they know I was gonna put it there?! There we go, that's a good spot for it. Okay, this is gonna be control group three. And we're gonna hit these guys, we're gonna knock them out right here. Oh my god, they're firing missiles, too? They're littler ones. Alright. Oh, they've got no AA defense! Boom! They must have another core somewhere. Alright, so they've taken one of ours out, we've taken one of theirs, the ship is still operational. Is that where the other core is? What is that? Oh wait, there's the other core. I can't tell. I can't tell where the other core is. All I know is they've got it, and it's freaking scary. 
Alright, let's fire again. Oh yeah, I've got this mod on where it's gonna be like infinite fire, I think. No? No, no, no. Never mind. <laughs> All right, one of the Republic attack cruisers is down and out for good. Now what we're gonna need is a sniper who's in the perfect spot. So let's go ahead. We'll have a, a oh, oh, oh. Are those after? Oh, 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 okay. Now, how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna aim a little higher. There we go. Lighten up the bottom. This would be the hangar bear where they'd launch their fighters. This is sweet. This whole thing's gonna burn up. You can see, I wonder if they could try to drop and connect to it. It wouldn't do very well, but they could do that. All right, let's see what happens here. Now, if these missiles, he's got very good defense here. I don't know if these ballistic missiles are gonna be able to hit the soft spot or hit the armor. <gasps> Whoa! Was there a third reactor down there, or did it just fall? I mean, that has to be one of the most dynamic attacks we've ever done in this game. All right, look at it. It's the USS Enterprise, and then a, an Imperial Star Destroyer. Ooh, wait a minute. Is that actually getting energy? Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so what are they gonna be doing? Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and hit these guys. Oh, they're opening. Oh, he, he tried to hit me. Come on, baby, get up in there. Destroy the neck. Oh, if we could disconnect the neck, that'd be really, really good. Okay, so we're kind of limited in terms of weapon systems. I'm gonna get an upgrade center first. We're gonna put it in the back. This is like, it's such a big ship. There's so many part, like places where they could destroy us here. So my abilities allow me to fire, my missiles go faster and we reload a lot quicker. So that should be pretty good for us the good guys now i'm gonna just put one up here just for the for the giggles man but man the enterprise is awesome thank you rage alert once again for making an amazing and amazing and amazing map i asked for this i was like you know it'd be really cool to see uh star trek versus star wars He's like yo i got you bruh and he did it and these these guys just keep these guys just keep building back up that's the one thing with the ai in my opinion and i, I realized that the devs, I think, are more multiplayer focused, but what about us skirmishers who just like to experience like crazy situations, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead. Let's hit somewhere else. Let's hit here. Now, hopefully that doesn't mean they shoot off. Oh, we almost hit ourselves. That's pretty funny. But look, look how fast we can get these, man. All right, so let's get some new technology. Which one gets me? There's my missiles. Oh, yeah. But it seems the Enterprise is uh, not interested in battling right now, which is fine with me. Oh, there's snipe, wait. Oh! Wait. Oh! Were they trying to fire missiles? I think he was, and then we took him out. Maybe, you know what? But when I have fast reload on missiles, you better believe I'm gonna try that. Even though, even though Star Destroyers may not have missiles, I'm looking to disconnect this ship. The Enterprise will be decapitated. You shall lose your neck, sir. Oh, yeah, we did it! Oh! Oh, and then this is gonna burn. And you know what? I'm gonna hit them while they're down. I'm gonna hit some more. I'm gonna try to fire in here. Land some missiles in here to keep these fires going. So before they can get there, hopefully it'll already be burnt up. Oh, look at them. Look at them hurrying. Now I'm hoping it gets in here. Let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Get up there. Start some more fires. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay, now we need to, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Look at this. I've never gotten to do this before. And that is just mass mortars and fire them like point blank. So I'm gonna do that. We're, we're just gonna light these guys. Set the fires and light the tires or whatever that is. Oh man, we need some mines. Yep, you know what, we need some of them. Look at them, look at this burning up. There's just no way they can do it. I'm gonna hit this now. It's it's wobbly. They're trying to connect. They're trying to put out these fires. They've lost so much. <laughs> the Enterprise is no match. You rebel scum. And they're like, we're not rebels, but you know, whatever, man. We don't care what they say. Let's. <laughs> this is hilarious. 
All right, now this will be control group three. Let's see if we can't land them up there. Oh, let's try to hit right there. And then let's go like a little bit of this. Oh, dude, the Enterprise has no chance. I wish, oh, look at this. I love to see it just burning and falling. Maybe the next one will do no gravity. Oh, it's about to split in half. So, we gotta just keep, we gotta keep doing this. And maybe we should upgrade one of these. Fast rockets, oh. Dude, this is epic though, the fires, man. Oh, how do we fire over? We had a little bit of a, uh, an issue here. Let's go. <laughs> fire. When ready, gentlemen. Okay, so... Do we got any cool weapons? We don't really have any awesome weapons. Except for... Flames. What if there was like an... I feel like the rain... Should the rain kind of put out fires and then there's weather effects? Leave it to me to just like... Why is that guy's mortar firing... Oh, the core's exposed over here. They've got no chance. I don't know what they have here. Maybe missiles, but we're gonna try them out next. Ooh, boys, ooh, boy, oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, do we have any new technology coming in? Not just yet. They have stabilized. <laughs> Look at this, man. Oh, that's where all their mines were. We're at the back. Okay. Well, I kind of like... I, I, I'm familiar with uh, Star Destroyers. Look at that. We're already out of... Did we fire the big one? We did not fire the big one. Oh, I can't fit a mine there. I can fit one here. Excellent. You know what? Just because we can. Wow, 30% efficiency? Alright, I'm gonna do fast missiles here. Let's see how fast this one goes. Oh my god. Oh my goodness! That was incredibly fast. What about... What about reload? Jeez! You can't even... You can't even stop these things. You know what? We'll get some more missiles here. Why not? Ooh, there it is. It's almost done again. Not that. I want the missile itself. Oh, we're out of power. Ha! <laughs> Little pieces just flying off the Enterprise. But seriously, haven't you ever wondered what would happen if, like, Star Trek were to go to war against Star Wars? I think that'd be so cool. We're just EMPing the crap out of these guys. Doosh, doosh. I wonder if we fire... We're gonna upgrade these bad boys. We rarely use them. I wonder what... Okay, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we've got to research laser technology from when we're in the Enterprise, because that would be appropriate. You know, like photon torpedoes. See, wait, Star Trek is photon torpedoes. And Star Wars is proton torpedoes, right? How about some mortars? Have you ever seen a Star Destroyer with mortars all over it? <laughs> oh, these things are going to be great, man. I'm going to sync these up as control group four. Now, the cool thing about these is they don't even need... Oh, wait. This one's going to have a shot, I think. Just there. Let's see. He's just now done. All right. If I fire here... Let's see. Oh, they both hit the nose. You may fire when ready. Dude, I mean, I, how's Star Trek supposed to deal with the Star Destroyer? You know what I mean? I mean, seriously, guys. That's a serious consideration. Boom! These are awesome missiles. Oh, hoo -hoo! oh, almost there. Stay on target. Oh, we missed. <laughs> We've missed three out of four. All right, you know what? I've had enough of these games. Fire everything! Come on! How did they survive that? They're almost broken in two now. There's just... I mean, they're gonna try to rebuild and repair, but they've got no materials. Now, I'm gonna try to hit it. Let's see if one can skip... Oh! Yes! Direct hit with both of them! The Enterprise has been defeated. So that is Star Trek 1. 
Wait, Star Wars, one point. Star Trek, zero. Look at these guys. Look at this guy, Mr. Scattershot. But look at this. Shokhanov. Place an explosive barrel inside the enemy fort. Let's do that. All right, all right, all right. So attempt number two. Now, we've seen the weapons that they go with, right? So let's see. What do we, what do we want to do here? We want to connect to give us a little bit of structural integrity here. Expand our bridges. We don't really need to do this first. I should be focusing on resources. So let's just do that. Do we want to use missiles? I'm not sure. We'll get these ones should be. Wait a minute. I could use missiles from the top. All right. So let's go ahead and control group these missiles as one. Let's try to hit um. He's 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 got his sniper. Are they doing that? Are they target launching? Oh, we didn't have the energy. Now, where are these going to go? Nice, th right there. Okay. Start some fires. Now, I think we want to go with... Let's see. We need a workshop and an armory. So, we need both of these. Let's just go with the uh, workshop. Get a few more fans up in here. Just glitter the top of the Enterprise with glorious fans. We are turning this Enterprise into an absolute dreadnought. They will have no other recourse but to surrender because we hate them those imperial scum over there and their star destroyer thing and their hot stuff look at this and i have and why does it pick that one when that's clearly not the area i want hmm and then it just and that that's just that's just gets silly because i got this sniper right here but no all right their flat guns are in play right now Look at this. Dreadnought class. Let's even iron the prow out. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Nice hits with the missiles. Okay, so I think with Star Trek, it's only appropriate that we kind of... We go with a, uh, a laser, right? So let's actually build out the platform we want to use. This is Dreadnought class, after all. I don't know what that means, except it sounds awesome. Let's get some technology. This is our fire beam and laser. We want one of those. And we've got an upgrade center, so I can start upgrading these bad boys. And getting us more energy. We need more energy, Captain! She can't take much more of it. Isn't that what they say? In this Star Trek, baby? The only problem is we ain't got no Jedis. I think... I personally think that Star Wars would win in a battle with Star Trek, but, you know, I'm curious to think or hear your guys' reasons and why. Well, I guess we can't put missiles up there anymore, but we're going lasers because I blocked it with some energy fans. Let's give them something to think about. I know they've been over there thinking like, the Empire, don't get in the way. You Vader haters will blow your planet up and all that good stuff. Oh, they got some flat guns, huh? That's cute. How about some fires on the exterior hull of your spaceship, which I don't even like. All right. Oh, let's get some proper frames in here. Oh, right, look at them trying to build a machine gun nest here. In unacceptable. We are, you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to work on building some uh, laser rays here. <laughs> I believe that's the technical term. We're going to build some laser rays, boys, and we're going to put it right up here. Ooh, they're weaponizing this area over here. I'm not sure what they're working on, but it's probably something nasty. Now, I've been working on... Oh! Are they aiming at me? Oh, they got Sam... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to deal... I'm gonna have to give them something to think about. Fire the main laser! What is that? How does it bounce back? Oh, what? There's shields back there. Oh, my God. We're gonna have to work on... You know what? Oh, my gosh. They almost took out my... You know what? Wow! Let's... Oh, jeez! Alright, well that's- that's doing nicely, but... Ah, oh, ha <laughs> ha Burn them! Burn them all! Okay, so I really don't like that at all. Oh, wow, that just barely skimped the surface. Okay, then, this Dreadnought is going to have to upgrade itself to be able to deal with these shields. Oh, shoot! They just, they have a cannon of their own. Okay, so the cannon is what? Right there? I think we can hit that. And they're firing missiles now?
Oh, that actually- Oh my god, they've taken out so much of our stuff. Alright, I need to hit back as hard as possible. And clearly that means hitting the nose of their ship, which is just silly when you think about it. My god. Oh my god! That cannon needs to be silenced. They went- Dang! Son of a gun! We've lost- Oh, we haven't lost everything. Alright, let's try this. There we go. We started some fires in there, at least. Let's try to hit them again. Ah! Why does it hurt me? <laughs> They've got, like, shields in all, all these, like, secret little spots, man. It's almost like they knew what we were doing. Well, then, I'm just gonna keep burning them. I'll tell you that much, why we get the laser. You know what? Let's take out that MG. Jeez, man. So we lost this. The cannon is being built. We're hoping that'll that'll save us here. I just gotta keep up pressure. I kinda was building. They were silent for a while. Oh! That, did, that shield got it to reflect on its own base. Perfect. There we go. Start some fires. Keep them thinking, man. Oh, and our cannon is ready. All right. You may fire when ready. Oh, God. That was bad. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got to keep this thing up. All right, we fired a fire laser. Ah! Those stupid shields. Look at that. It, they're hidden, too, by their... their. Oh, man. Okay, so where did we hit last time? I gotta aim a little bit higher. Ooh! Ooh, that's a direct hit. Alright, we're going for the core. Oh my god, man. They are they are smacking us all, all up and down this... Yeah? I'm not trying to use cables. I'm trying to use these. Thank you very much. We lost our phaser laser. Jeez! Alright, let's go for another one in the same spot. Ooh, we're getting some hits, man. And they can't repair their core. Oh my god, we got... Oh, shoot. I'm not... <gasps> that was a big missile! Okay, I need flak to defend against this, man. That means we gotta build down again. Jeez. Things are burning up over here. The cannon's ready to fire again. Oh, what? There we go. We hit the top of that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a fire ray right up on the top of this, man. I see what you guys are up to. And I don't like it. But you know what? That's not mean. That doesn't mean I'm going to go down with this fight. Here, flak that MG. Oh, only a few missiles get through. Hmm. Man, this is... The Star Destroyers clearly, clearly outclasses, at least in, in this uh, Fort's rendition of it. Alright, so that was just a little bit too high. There we go, that was a good hit. There we go. Oh, if I would have timed that with the cannon shot, that obviously would have been better. Oh, those flat guns. Right in the MG guy's face, one missile just went off into the sunlight. We're gonna try to coordinate our shots. I'm gonna try to do a fire laser first, then a laser, then the cannon to finish it off. Or, you know what, let's just do this. Now... It's burning. Oh, what?! It went through it! It went through the reactor! Let's try to aim a little bit down. Oh, dude, that should set the reactor off, if I'm not mistaken. No! With a plasma laser! Goodbye, Mr. Star Destroyer! Look at that! We got the command deck. Oh! Oh, wow, look at where their cannon was! So they had these little bits of shields there. But basically what we have is this bad boy. So the situation is as such. Oh my god, I need to get... I need to get shields. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. That thing's operational. We've gotta destroy this. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the Battle of Endor. I'm the Imperial side. I've got the shield generator that is 
basically surrounding the Death Star with this amazing shield, right? So the idea here, and it's protected, and like, oh my gosh, I realized that this is, this is actually muy peligroso. But as long as this shield generator is up, look, all of our wind turbines, all of our energy creation comes from down here. So we're gonna have to protect it even more. Look at that. See? <laughs> Fool. Alright, but and we have we have light ground fire. Let's see. Ooh, they've got a lot of metal down there, don't they? Alright. So I think the thing that we're gonna need. Now I remember playing this in the past, but I never had I never did it the right way. I remember having the Death Star, and I don't think I did it the right way. Also, we're gonna have unlimited laser upgrades, or unlimited upgrades rather. So we're gonna be able to literally create a super laser. Try to, similar to what we did with the Avengers Thanos. And look at this, man, I just love it. We've got these wooden, or we, we these got, we've got these wooden. <laughs> I love that so much. All right, let's actually, let's actually hit them a little bit. And we've got a Nebulon B class uh, Rebel Frigate here. I'm gonna aim for the weaker spot. Ooh, that went right through. Now we won't be able to disconnect it because it is, it is in orbit. It does have these islands here, I think, that will keep it from totally falling. But that's not to say we can't hit him a little bit. Wow, they rebuilt that super fast. That was nuts. All weapons have explosive rounds. I picked the wrong guy. But I do like how now, now that we know what to do, we're gonna have an incredible amount of resource generation in terms of energy. Like, look at this. In fact, all we gotta do is get our mining up. Can we fit another one? I thought we could, I thought I saw gray. Nope, it doesn't look like it. But we've got the, they call it a mine upgrade. All right, so we're gonna get those going. We're gonna fire both these at the same time. Nope, we were we ran out of energy. We've got 19,000. You know what this Death Star needs is more. Whoa, 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 what was that? Was that an auto cannon? That sounded like it could have been an auto cannon. But this was one of the first maps. Okay, what 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 weapon system do you have down there? A laser. Oh, that actually got through. Oh, and that was the one we were upgrading too, wasn't it? That dang laser found the weak spot in our armor. All right, let's try to hit. There we go. We destroyed that bridge. Oh, that was an excellent shot. All right, so we're gonna have to work on a weapon system. But once this thing is protected. Actually, let's go ahead and get some technology up. So the Death Star is clearly the most powerful, but once this is destroyed, we run out of energy completely. But the good thing about these energy shields is they do not block energy production. So what we're going to do is actually work on some backups. Oh! Oh, they hit themselves! He hit the lower one. So this is basically like the Rebel Assault on the uh, surface of Endor. Come on, let's fit that in there. Oh, we can't. That stinks. So the back side of this is just gonna be littered with these things, man. Zero percent efficiency? Wait, am I- am I putting them at zero? Oh, those were 30. And I'm actually gonna get rid of some of them. And I'm gonna create a pretty nice little bit of- Oh! <laughs> the Nebulon Frigate! actually fired its laser it reflected off of our uh, of this amazing defense they've got to use cannons or they are really really in a, a tight spot all right so they rebuilt excellent we take out one of the mines we take out the command tower now i'm thinking what we could do is just build one behind the scenes right now i'm going to show you how it's like when, like, I'm gonna attempt to fight the Death Star without going after this. I'm gonna attempt to use the Nebulon Frigate. And I think if we do it right, if we aim at the right spots, we can do what they did to us. Alright, so we're gonna need what? We're gonna need a lot of iron storage. Alright, well, how'd that work out? I think, I think these guys, look, they, they burnt themselves. You know what? We'll take that opportunity here, my friend. We've only got one laser system left, but that's all we need because look at that. I mean, if, if you're gonna burn yourself, we're easily gonna take you out. This thing's operational. All right, I hear the weapons bay's opening on this frigate. Let's see what you have, sir. 
Is this your laser that you kept wrecking yourself with? They haven't been able to figure it out, but that's because there's literally only one weak spot on this entire thing because they're not smart enough to focus where they need to focus. Let's fire. We'll keep destroying that. And we're slowly getting the tech that we need in order to get everything first and foremost. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Have you ever seen the Death Star with a working chimney? I don't believe you have. There we go. But I know that we needed one. And you know what? It wouldn't be a proper Death Star without a few cables sticking off the sides. But this thing will be operational. This is gonna get our energy up even more, which clearly we don't need. Look at this. This poor Nebulon frigate cannot just, it, it just can't figure it out. All right, so basically how the, um, they call it a mine works, is we're able to upgrade from two miners to three. You start with one, then you can upgrade to two, default. I'm actually curious, no, we can't hit with that. All right, now if I, whoa, that got in and they blew up our laser. All right, that's really bad. So I think what we want to do here is build a laser in one of these spots that I can d get rid of the shields in the future. All right, so we're going to put it here. And I think I might want to work on a second one as well. And then I'm just going to upgrade them like crazy. <laughs> they fired that and took out their own command tower, even though I'm working on my two lasers here. Ooh, they call these mines, too. All right, so the first laser's complete. Now it's time to level them up. I want to get them to... See, they start at an energy of 6,000. So to get to level 10, we're going to have to get to 16,000. You'll never learn. Oh, they're learning. They set their own base on fire, but they did attempt to fire down here. So let's see if I can't take out that turbo laser battery. A little high. But we're giving them something to think about. Ooh, that got so close! Alright, speaking of close... Aww... Oh, we barely damaged the little gate, but that means they're figuring it out. If that laser hits this and takes out our the functionality of our Death Star, we are literally screwed. We'll have to sell all these shields just to power the Death Star. Oh, we're hitting the... Ooh, we actually destroyed that. Let's give him something to think about. Oh, I can't. Whoa! Oh, shoot. That's not good. They found the shield generators, boys. So naturally, we're gonna have to protect them with two shields. We attracted a lot of attention, I think, with that. They're starting to use ballistics-based rounds up here. I think that's the key. I'm not sure if it's all... Oh, here's the laser. Let's see where they fire. Did they fire lower or did they fire high? Ha! If, if we had built that a little back, we could have actually destroyed our own base. So I've decided to try something a little different. We're gonna fire the invertedness. We're gonna fire an inverted proton torpedo. Instead of going in the damaged trash chute. Oh! <laughs> that thing's operational, baby! See you later! Okay, that was kind of cool. I was wondering if it would squirrel out and actually hit the side of our base, but it fired so straight. That was awesome. So that definitely puts the Rebels in a very, very tough place. <laughs> and there's the Death Star rays. Proton torpedoes! Imagine if the Death Star fired giant, like, ship-killing torpedoes. How amazing would that be? Alright, big dog, we need you to reload because I want to see if I can't sneak one. If I aim back here, I want to see what, what the proton torpedo does. So here we go, this is for science. I'm wondering, will it- will it try to go through this? Or will it go over it? Let's see how guided these things can be. Oh, that one's just gonna hit the nose. Oh man, that's- that's beast. Incoming laser. They never learn, do they? They really never do. Take out that turbo laser battery. Target painted, target painted. Target painted. The Death Star will be in range in- Two seconds! Boom! Goodbye, turbo laser battery. Look at that. It felt. Oh, those poor guys got wrecked, son. All right, now this poor Nebulon B forget. I wish I could send in like waves of Tie Fighters. Oh, the things. 
I wish. Now, I definitely picked the wrong general. I needed the one that does fast, like, speedy fast upgrades. So, for the sake of time, I think... We might... I might actually get Rage Alert. I might ask him to kind of, like, change up this map a little bit. And add, like, more ships, maybe? Like, the Death Star versus multiple capital ships. I think that would be a really, really good idea. Ooh. Whoa! I forgot this was a shield and not an actual door. We've got fires inside, boys. Actually, I need this temporarily, don't I? Oh my god. I just... Alright, we gotta hit this. This is a level 3 turbo laser. Boom! Nebulon frigate down. All right, now it's time to be the rebel scum. All right, so now we have control of the frigate. All right, so I think the first thing we need to do is hit this Death Star in its weak spot, which is right in the middle. Let's hope this is a good shot. Ooh, that actually worked. All right, what do we have down here? We have a- oh, we actually have a laser. I'm gonna aim up. Wait a minute. Its shields aren't operational? Something must be wrong. I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like the Death Star shield generators are working. Does that mean we can hit it anywhere? Nope, the shields definitely are working. I'm fairly certain they are. You know what, sir? Stop that. There we go, that'll keep you honest. Now, I think what we want to do... We're gonna need missiles. Oh my gosh, there was a chain reaction. Oh, that's really, really bad. They've probably lost a lot of their power generation, man. We found the weak spot. We've taken out one of the turbo laser batteries. Yeah, look at this. This whole base could come down in one fell swoop, actually. So let's actually build the upgrade building, which we have. We need more energy production. That's the one thing we don't have over on this team. Yeah, I don't think the AI can handle this, man. So it would be really cool to destroy this using the proton torpedoes, which we are currently working on them right now. I could also sell this to get more, but I think what we're gonna need is a lot more down here working then. Are they acting up already? Jeez. All right, if we don't have any snipers though, we're not gonna be able to target, target painted, target painted. All right, we're gonna fire with the turbo laser to hit the exposed underbelly here. The shields I'm fairly certain are working, but for some odd reason, they are not rebuilding the defenses here. And look at all these wires. I'm not sure what they're doing. Keeping this thing together in their own minds, I would imagine. We do know the weak spot here. So we can upgrade this thing. I'm gonna upgrade my turbo laser battery. I've got these bad boys being upgraded. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna launch proton torpedoes at them. I think one mod I would change is something that allowed ballistic missiles to fire vertically instead of just horizontally. All right, we've got three proton torpedoes ready. We're limited where we can fire with him. There we go. This guy's gonna have to be built in a hurry. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to operate. So I'm actually gonna have backups. Luckily, this thing's armored. All right, three proton torpedoes aiming. We've got three targets painted, boys. I really wish- Ooh! Ooh! Oh my gosh, that was devastating. Alright, time to follow this up with a turbo laser battery burst. Ooh, it didn't do a whole lot, but some of the parts fell down on the base below. Alright, look at these. These things- they're so devastating, and they reload so fast. They may be super expensive, but if you can afford them, this Death Star, oh, you can't repel fire by this magnitude, buddy. All right, control four. Yeah, at this point, I think it's a foregone conclusion what's gonna happen, because look at this. Rearmed. And we're going for the heart of this whole thing, man. Now it just looks like Pac-Man. It's not even a Death Star anymore. Oh, that was good. Are their shield generators working? They're not. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Here we go. Oh, there we go. I think one of the cores is in there, and I think that might be it, actually. 
So what we're gonna do here is create a missile to hit down here. I think that'll hit. Oh yeah, that'll hit all right. All right, here we go. Oh, this is gonna blow, dude. <laughs> Death Star is destroyed. Lando Calrissian and that little good, what, what's his, what's his name? Thumb? Thumb? I'm pretty sure his last name's like Thumb or Nian, Nian somebody. One of those rebel aces. Now this is gonna be interesting. All right, they're all firing there, but what I wanna do is hit this lower region. Oh, he's up, he's opening to fire. That was the worst time to do that. Look at this. This base is gone. <laughs> that was literally the worst time to open the doors. Because now we're just gonna just hammer this thing with proton torpedoes. And it should be a rebel victory. Alright, I would love to have this guy ready again, though. Yep. Look at that. Oh! It is barely hanging on. It's barely hanging on. Look at that. It's got a few shield generators, though. But the floor below it... Now, this thing cannot fire down below. Look at that Death Star burning. Let's give it a little more burny burn, and maybe some of these pieces will fall down and destroy this. Oh, wow. We're actually running out of energy. We're gonna have to save up 9,000. And I want to go for this final blow. Oh! <laughs> you had a bad day, didn't you? Alright, here we go. I was hoping that it would cause a collapse, but it doesn't appear to be so. So I'm thinking... We finish it off with torpedoes, mites. So we're gonna save it for 12,000. Listen to this destruction of the Death Star. Can you imagine what it would have been like? I didn't play... I, I played a little bit of the campaign of Star Wars Battlefront. Alright, this should be three proton torpedoes, and you know what, just for fun, we are gonna do this. Boom, boom! And then the follow-up, just to make sure. <laughs> Rebel victory. Look at that. Look at the Death Star just crumbling in the background. I want the shit. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. No, the whole thing was collapsing. So we've got a First Order Dreadnought, and then we've got those... I think they're kind of stupid. What do you guys think of the uh, Resistance Bombers that were in the uh, new... Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi. So let's see if we can't... Let's see if we can't destroy it. See, basically, they got the bombers over the Dreadnought and tried to target, like, this main critical area. And look at this, we can... Oh, I guess they can only really fire straight down. That's actually kind of interesting. Alright, so what I think I want to do... Can I upgrade that? Yeah, I want to upgrade that. I should have upgraded that a little bit earlier. But so I'm going to be controlling this, but we're going for the weak spot here. And I think that we're going to be able to do it. So let's see, what do we need in forms, uh, or in terms of technology? We'll go ahead and put the farther one with, that's our technology one. Because I would assume if I'm the Dreadnought, I would be targeting this guy first. I'm not entirely sure what weapon systems they have, or what have you. But oh, once this thing is done, we're going to rain destruction amongst them. Now, let's see. Can we target with this guy? Oh, we can. And look, they've got armor plating, which are pretty good. <laughs> Those two just scattered amongst the surface, but there is a way in right here. And that's where we're going. Because we've got two versions of this map. Now, this map was made by my buddy Rage Alert. I've been asking you guys, what maps would you like to see next? What kind of things would you like to see done? I'm still very much interested in that. For the next episode, what would you like to see? All right, this might just work. Because there's explosive barrels all in the enemy ship. <laughs> I love it. Oh, okay. So this is the version of the map where it's got the weak point. And you know what? I thought that was very well done. When Rage Alert did that, I was like, that is awesome. Now, can I also have it without the weak point? And I'm going to be going against the bombers now. All right. So this is my Dreadnought. You can see I don't really have any offensive weapons. So actually, some of the first things I might want to get are to deal with these missiles. Look at the... Oh, shoot. The wobbling... I'm just gonna decorate my ship with some anti-missile defenses because they've got a lot of bombers. I'm not sure. He said he put AI on them, so they could be firing at any moment, and if they do not, well then we're just gonna have to target them with cannon rounds. So let's actually go ahead and get 
this, the munitions plant. Let's tuck this in nice and safe over here. And then actually, I'm gonna go ahead and build some really nice fan area on the back here. So the idea here is just to really get my energy production up. You can see that my mineral production is incredibly low right now. Do we have an upgrade center somewhere hidden here? We do not. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with them. Ha! Some bullets actually bounced off the armor plating <laughs> because it's angled. Uh, let's see, can we? Oh man, I like how they did this armor. This is pretty cool. All right, so I just got some more mines, and I'm, I don't know if the AI is working on this map, unfortunately. But here's the key question. Once again, I wanna ask you, what maps would you like to see done? Now, we've done battleships, we've done Star Wars, we've done, like, tanks and airplanes. We've even done the USS Enterprise, the Starship Enterprise from Star Trek versus a Star Destroyer from Star Wars Universe, which was a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get that bad boy in. So, you can see here what I try to do is increase my... But wouldn't it... Man, oh, there's so many game ideas I want to make. But unfortunately, look, I can actually see this guy's missile. I can't see that one, and I can't see that one, but for some reason I can see this guy's missile. I find that kind of interesting, I wonder why that is. But you can see where their cores are, so if I put a cannon here... Now actually, is this on... If this isn't on no gravity, which I think I did it on... You know what, let's go ahead and get an auto cannon and start peppering some of the forward ships. Oh my gosh, he's targeting it! He's doing a missile launch! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, well, we've awoken the beast, and there are fires everywhere. I really feel like I might need to get some uh, flak in here, so wow, I was not expecting that. They ha we have awoken the beast, guys. All right, so let's actually get, let's get a few more of these bad boys. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's using snipers too. Okay. So he's limited in his, in his uh, effectiveness here. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a pretty nice firing platform back here. And first, it's gonna be an auto cannon. That's pretty good, I'd say, all around. Now our upgrade center should be done. What are we waiting for? 25 energy. I guess what I need to do is start some storage here as well to make our dreadnought super capable. But what I do like about this is it's kind of fun to just kind of like see what could be done, right? And it's like, oh, well, what if an at, -AT becomes like a mobile base? And we've done that before. So once this auto cannon is done, can I put it, can I put, ooh, I can put that up, nice. Would you hear that? There's a, there's a rooster going off in the background. All right, let's upgrade this bad boy. He's at 94%. That's a pretty good one to do. And let's see, I want, I want some more of these bad boys because we, if we've got the energy, might as well get those bad boys up. Then it's going to be time to get a cannon. And then we're just going to have to target these guys and destroy them. At some point, we may want to go with missile systems. But the Dreadnought versus the Resistance Bombers should be a pretty interesting interesting battle. So this is what, 900 over 6,000? A lot of the mines aren't working right now because they're currently being upgraded. And I want to get all of my mines being upgraded. I think I'm going to put missiles here in the future. That would actually would be a really good spot. I'm going to go ahead and install those now. And once that's done, I'm going to upgrade it. Okay. You know what? So the missile, or the, these guys kind of fire if you build under them. <laughs> I'm going to try to hit the core right away here. Oh, maybe we're going to need a second one. This is 900 over 6,000. Hmm, what should we do? What should we do? Decisions, decisions. Well, I think one of the things I want to do is create a sniper platform so that we can start targeting with the missiles once that's available. Oh, here we go. Let's build a cannon. Now, why can't you? Oh, he's too close. Okay. And then we'll put him right on top of that. All right, let's see if we can't smack that guy again. If we had two of them... Oh, wow! All right, one of those is down. Now, is this gonna eventually fall on us? Or did I leave zero gravity on and it's just gonna go? So you can see that these bombers are pretty vulnerable. Now, actually, we could probably get another auto cannon platform, like what, maybe here, even. Let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. And I actually wanna get rid of that. We will sell it, or destroy it, rather, you know? We'll keep it open. Yeah, okay, because of the low gravity, 
it's going to stay there. So we actually have this cannon. We might have to shoot through this. This might be difficult. But I'm going to be using upgraded missile systems as well to destroy the rebels or the resistance. I'm just going to leave them open. They're exposed, yes. But will the resistance fire through it? Look at this. It's just burning up. Dude, this is this is what how it would be like if a, if a ship was just in space. Oh, although, would it burn up as much? I guess it depends because there's not really oxygen, right? Let's go ahead and try to... Let's try to hit the other guy. We gotta clear our way through this. Now the next shot should be able to go for it and hit the other guy. But it's all just burning up, even some of the metal girders. This is awesome. Alright, so did we get our sniper in place? I don't even think we have our targeting guy yet. Cannon's almost done. And we got this fast rocket and missiles we could do real quick once the uh, sniper's done. <laughs> Look at these little pieces just flying in the air. I love it. All right, we've got one missile here. Let's see if, if I can hit right there. I think we might be able to destroy this bad boy. Oh! Oh, he's exposed all right. Oh, yeah. These guys aren't going to have much chance. I'm going to try to be them next and just see how, like... All right, let's fire through. Oh, look at that. We actually fired little pieces of metal. Ooh! He's targeting these guys with his sniper. He's counterattacking. Yeah, I think the AI, sometimes when you have like unconventional bases, they just don't know what to do with it. And it's really a shame. Let's see, we're, we're finally gonna be able to land a cannon shot. Yeah, oh, maybe right here actually. Oh, nice. And then we're peppering it. Let's do a three, three heavy missiles on this one here. Oh, we only got to fire one of them. Oh, he didn't miss! You gotta be kidding me! Okay, in order to do that, we're gonna need a lot of energy, right? Yeah, because they need, I think it's what, 5,000? 4,000? Boom! Direct hit! These guys got no chance. Alright, now to get this guy, we actually might need a sniper here. And then that should help. But yeah, look at these guys. These bombers, these missile launchers. Now, if I have control of all three ships, I'm trying to figure out what would be best to do. Upgrade the missiles and fire. Well, I can't fire straight down. It'd be really difficult to do this, actually. Let's see. I want to target here. They might not have enough room to move. Oh, it missed. Okay. We got to wait till we get 4,000, which should be soon. And hopefully this does it. We've got super fast missiles. Woohoo! A direct hit, boys. A direct hit, indeed. A Republic kind of gunship hovering over like the Camino cloning facilities and they've got access to both of these structures. I have a Confederacy of Independent Systems ship. Now I've actually got something really cool that I want to do and actually let's let's set this up right. So I've got some pretty good pro tips here. So what we're gonna do is put a shield in front of this and then hopefully one of these bad boys. Now, the turbine's only getting 30%, but I got some pretty good pro tips from Mr. Thomas Hinton, basically saying that turbines take mineral income and shields do not block wind. So what I'm trying to do here is to protect my core all, all just a little bit better, since it is kind of exposed. And then actually, let's go ahead and make that metal. And that should help protect it, and this thing could, in theory, power that shield itself. So, speaking of which, let's upgrade our resources. Can I get... What on earth? Alright, so we're using Martian gravity as well, and look at this. Oh my gosh, we've got three cores. I forgot all about the systems of this. Look at that. You can see they're building some weapon systems right now. The gunship does not look like it's being upgraded. We also have the infinitely um, upgradable weapon systems. So we're going to be working with that, but for some reason, it doesn't look like I can build more mines, and they call them mines, but I cannot upgrade them. So I'm thinking what we do to power up this bad boy is we look for 30%, 30%, what about up here? 89%, okay. So let us protect this with an armored core. All right, and so now we're gonna work on the turbines in the rear here to kind of help power this baby. All right, so now I'm thinking after the upgrade center is done, we probably should have done, let's get a rocket and flak facility research center up and going but I like this I like the idea that this thing 
This is what, minus 30? And this produces 30, so it's powering just enough for that shield. So when every time we build a shield, I'm even thinking about protecting the entire nose with these shields. Let's see, there's no way to really deal with that flak, is there? We could, we could do armor-piercing snipers, maybe, from the front. I'm thinking about upgrading a sniper incredibly... I'm, th I'm pretty sure we've got Martian gravity on, so let's go back to the devices. I think it would be good to have some power storage. Speaking of which... Yeah, they always attack the bridge portion of the CIS warship, so I want to have an upgraded laser. Here we go. Now what we're going to do is just keep upgrading him, but we also got to protect him since we're going to invest so much into him. I'm going to iron up this nose here. But you can see that we're being weighed down already. Maybe we should have done no gravity, but I figured we're fighting in orbit, right? Look at this. They're missing with the flat gun, fortunately for me. The core is protected to a certain degree here. This core is definitely the most vulnerable. This one's kind of armored up. Um, but I'm hoping, look at this, that we can just keep upgrading this guy infinitely so. So we'll have just this incredibly, incredibly good armor piercing round. And I'm going to start picking off these little defense installations here. Look at this. Hehehe. <laughs> We're going to increase the structure on the back of the bridge. I always like this. Like, imagine if this is how like things happen like in Star Wars battles. There we go. That should help. Oh, what? They took out the lower core. This is bad. I don't even know what they used. What did they even use? We did not protect it and that is what we get. We've just lost one out of our three cores. All right, now as far as let's hit those guys. Now, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking, you know what? The man, that was that was absolutely devastating. Can we do this? Here we go. So what I want to do now is get I'm thinking another one. We're going to have just these two super armor piercing weapons on the front. And then maybe like right here we'll work on a gun installation. We can also work on missiles. Actually, you know what? Missiles would be really good. So let's get our technology. Let's get the swarming missile tech. What was that? A cannon? That was a cannon, wasn't it? All right, so let's let's upgrade this. And I'm thinking I really like I really like sandbags. Man, they are really bringing on the pain already. All right, uh, a metal core section uh, to protect the bridge. <laughs> There's only like one and then all the stuff at the top, but that should help to a certain degree. And in fact, we probably could do a little bit of this. Now, yeah, let's go ahead and get some missiles because missiles, I'm actually, I don't think, look at this, I just can't build in them? I don't know what's up with this map. It's uh, Rage Alert helped make it, or and by help it, I mean he did the entire thing himself. So this is going to severely limit what I can do here. What is happening? Jeez, they're really shelling us hard here. We've lost the upper armored section here. We're gonna have to silence these guys. All right, you know what, fine, return fire. You've got those guys on the top. Got another one, those flat guns. I'm wondering with low gravity if we destroy this, we could have it fall on their ship, that which would be awesome. But yeah, so missiles will not work this time. I'm not sure if it's an, uh, a weird little issue on the map or what. So we're gonna have to be extremely efficient with this. No missiles, huh? All right, we're gonna upgrade him again. And iron out this nose a little bit more. We're turning this thing into an ironclad. Now, iron would obviously not be our metal of choice. We'd probably prefer some, like, super Star Wars, you know, space metal. An obtainium or something crazy like that, even though that's not Star Wars. I'm very disappointed in this. I would really, really like to... Oh, God. The nose is getting hammered real hard. All right, so I'm thinking... We work on... The firing platform. Incoming missile! Oh shoot, we have no AA defense. We're gonna need to fix that immediately. We'll put some AA defense here. Like a, a proper warship would have. And then we'll put some machine guns up here. And can we put one here? Nice. There we go, that should definitely help the AA defense of this warship. Now we gotta make sure that this is gonna work. We need the laser system, so we're gonna need to upgrade our technology, which we do not have 20 millimeter cannons. I kinda want... Oh god, that... What'd you hit? Did you take it? You just took out my little machine gunner. How rude. There we go. Protect it! Alright, what do they got going on over here, and how effective is this armor-piercing... Sniper rifle. 
They've got a lot of AA defense, but that's not what we're working on here. We've got to go with the laser, I think, again, just for fear of not having... Oh, man. That sucks. Auto cannon fire! Oh, shoot! They've got a laser system. Oh, man, that is really, really bad. They've got the laser before us. As far as tech is concerned... Oh, man, they just got their first laser. All right, this is what we're gonna have to do. The laser's going down here. I'm trying to figure out where we can... If I could find the location of that laser. I am going to use a heat laser down here, though. They're using armor-piercing lasers on us. Oh, shoot! Whoa! How did that even happen? This isn't good. All right, we're losing the front of this base really, really badly. This is not going well. The Kaminoans, huh? This is... this is troublesome. Their auto cannons are working really, really well. You know what? Drastic times. Drastic measures. Incoming missile fire! Oh, right here, really? Let's try to sneak an MG here. All right, here we go. First missile, I mean, first laser. We've got the energy. Withstand that flak attack. There we go. At least we hit them back. They took out a lot of our flak support, so we're gonna have to rebuild that. Gosh, this is getting, this is getting rough. Let's put, let's just put a bunch of sandbags here. All right, we're back in action here. Let's target the top. Ooh, it's gonna be really difficult to hit that. All right, so drastic times call for drastic measures, right? We should... What is up with this? I all of a sudden cannot build in any of these things. I think it's an issue with the map. Maybe it's just too narrow or something, but... This is gonna kick us in the nuts. Like, this drastically affects our combat abilities, because missiles are one of the best equalizers, especially dealing with AI warships. Jeez. A laser, an autocannon... Oh my god, this is- this is just bad. Alright, I'm gonna hit- I don't know where the core is. Or the whole ship's freaking on fire here. Shoot! We're on fire. Alright, laser's ready. We're gonna need to upgrade this thing. There we go, we took out some flat guns. Oh gosh, incoming missile. They've connected to this forward firing platform. I don't see- I don't see a way to do this. Auto cannons hitting the nose. Oh man, that's bad. That is just- Like, how do- how do you withstand this when the enemy ship can do stuff you can't? Oh my god. Get out of here with your heat lasers. Speaking of heat lasers. Doesn't do a whole lot and we can barely nick it, but hopefully... Let's upgrade this bad boy a, a, a peg or two. There we go, that fire should be working. We need more weapon systems. Where can I sneak them? That's the issue. I can't put it there. I could put one here. I want to put it... Oh, that's just too close. That's just too close to the bridge. All right, the laser's been upgraded to tier two. Man, they, they can have so much energy production over there. There we go. Heat laser to the front. Okay, that's doing some damage. I'm thinking this heat laser, if we can keep it alive, we could upgrade it for sure. I would like some more, like, firing platform opportunities here. Man, these doors are so long, they take a while to- Oh! We open it right when they fire the autocannon. That could be bad. Oh, God. Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. All right. Uh, incoming. Oh, it's a ballistic missile. <gasps> Did you? S okay, we've got a serious threat incoming, and that is ballistic missiles. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? If they have ballistic missiles and we can't, where would they have fired them from? I really need missiles. Oh shoot. Here's the missile. Oh shoot. Oh, those- those ballistic missiles are so devastating, which is what we wanted to use on the enemy. Oh my god, oh my god. I feel like we're barely holding on here. Which we are. We're making some pretty good progress. It's hard to tell where they're firing from. Good lord! Look at these freaking heat lasers just blowing right through us, man. It, it'd be really cool if I could build other vehicles. Oh man, we've lost most AA support. There we go, at least we're silenced it. Oh no, right on the nose, man. Oh. Ha! <laughs> I used the laser to fire at the right time and, and destroyed one of those EMP rockets. Oh man, that's a big cannon hit. That was a big cannon hit. Alright, we're gonna need to... Man, this is just like insane. They're rebuilding a lot. I wonder if we could hit... There we go, that destroyed something. Oh man, look at, look at this, man. This is what happens when I can't use ballistic missiles. Oh, the core just got hit with, I think, a cannon round. They're upgrading everything over there, dude. I don't know how to do this without missiles! 
I literally, I can't even sell things and make missiles. What is the deal? Why is this the way it is? Like, riddle me this, Batman. Literally, and, he, uh, and I sold a mine here. Look, I don't even think I can build a mine here. Some serious problems. All right, intelligence reports that the cores are right here. I don't see a way to cut through this. They've got so many defenses here. We have no real way to even stop these rockets. Just the way the base is designed. All right, fire back. I think we... Yes! <laughs> oh, what a good counterattack. All right, so the plan here is, you know what? I was like, man, we're just getting our butt kicked in right now. And the issue with it was because we're just playing to their game. Let's sell that. This is going to be a very weird... I don't know if this guy's going to be able to survive, but you know what? It is no longer an issue. We're going to focus our efforts on a different area. So I'm turning this CIS warship into just an absolute dreadnought. Like, a ridiculously, ridiculously strong ship. That's the idea here. We're just going to make this super platform. It's going to be protected by shields. Like, this is going to be great, man. You may fire when ready. Dang, that cannon sucks. The cannon took out a lot of stuff, man. I wonder if shields might be the way. Fire the main laser. We need to upgrade this thing. Oh, wow, that was close. They waited for us, man. They freaking waited for us. So we've got a little shield section here. The dreadnought is not yet completed. We're still working on it. I was trying to put a uh, flak gun here to protect against some air. And look at this, man. All right, you know what? Dude, we opened the doors and they timed that perfectly. The laser came in, but I'm hoping that we did enough damage to... Oh my god, that didn't look like it did any damage. Okay. Look at that rocket barrage, man. There we go. Some of them miss. But at least we're starting to put the pressure back on them. We're turning this one around. Oh my god, we gotta delete that. That's oh, EMP rockets! All right, let's get the doors. Oh my god, that guy just took a heat laser to the face. We're taking auto cannons, main cannons, cannon cannons. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, the core's on fire! Protect the core. We must protect the car. We gotta protect the car? <gasps> Gosh, we're gonna have to build uh, shark fins. You can repel. We can repel firepower from your magnitude. So what we're doing here is we're upgrading these lasers. There we go. Oh, some get through though. And it peppers them. It keeps them honest, man. It keeps them honest. Oh, get your heat lasers out of here! God! Those heat lasers are incredibly, incredibly good. And I think they're probably upgrade would be my guess. Ooh, here we go. 100% power. There we go. This, we're gonna turn this thing around in no time. There it is. Alright, alright. Here we go. This is how we turn it around, man. This has honestly been the hardest one because... I can't increase my mines or get ballistic missiles. I feel like if we would have had ballistic missiles, we would have been able to finish this one already, honestly. That thing is so well armored, and here's where their cores are. Like, how? Oh, God. Look, we're, we're so low on energy that our rocket barrages aren't going to be very effective, and some of these just miss completely. This... Oh, only one got through because of their flak defense. Ooh! We took out that! Oh, yes! That was one of the best attacks we've had. Incoming cannon round! Withstand it, withstand it. And we're turning this energy situation totally on its head by finding the right spot to put our production in. Oh, yeah. We'll lead with the lasers. Now, I'm not even sure where these rockets will hit or if... Oh, they're hitting everything. Okay, we've turned it around. I think we've finally withstood enough of this pressure. Like, look at what's left over here. Ooh, incoming cannon around. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, their core's exposed, but I don't know how to hit it. I like this rocket barrage attack, man. Yes, okay, they are hitting it. Okay, so there's two cores right next to each other. I wonder if we can get one to go nuclear if we can get the other one to go. And I'm wondering if maybe this might be the time to build a lower platform here. All right, let's do it again. 
Rocket barrages. <laughs> All right, I'm wondering, can I hit that top ship? I think if I, if I could thread this laser right. Ooh, if I could get this core to fall on that base, this one could do it. That one could do it for sure. We're gonna focus all firepower. I love these rocket barrages. Oh, they, they are returning fire though. All right, all right, I see what you're up to. Oh, <gasps> ooh, that's nice, that's nice but it's not enough. We need more rocket barrages, Captain. I'm gonna double it. <laughs> rocket barrage! Ooh, they got flak again. Oh my gosh, only one rocket made it through and totally whiffed because they do have flak again. This war's definitely not over. Oh, we need this guy to hit again. That same spot. All right, this is gonna be it. We're gonna we're gonna make this go nuclear. Control group five, one E, two E. Fire all forward batteries. All right, this guy, this guy's got the same shot to destroy this core. Come on. Oh no. There it is. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. This guy needs to go a little bit lower. That's too low. But we're dealing with it. Dude, the sheer firepower we've got. All right, let's actually focus on some rebuild. Wait, I think I messed that up. All right, big dog. We might need to upgrade you. And you were what, a little bit low maybe? Maybe this laser's in a better position. Ooh, hit the rear of it. Big daddy laser's not yet done. Let's go ahead and boost upgrade speed. Can't withstand firepower of this magnitude, boys. This gunship is barely keeping itself together. What's up with control group two? <laughs> Maximize forward fire torpedoes! Oh, there's the cannon. Hello, Mr. Cannon. It's just great for you to finally show your face. Goodbye. Ha 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 ha! You don't need that cannon. Oh, I love the sound of these rockets. If we could upgrade rockets, oh, we would be devastating right now. Maybe it's time we need mo another rocket platform, sir. These rockets are just too good. Fire the torpedoes! The Camino cloning facilities will be brought to heel, sir. For the CIS. All right, now, can I hit that core? Yes! 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 This CIS dreadnought is the most powerful being in all of the world. In the, in the well, I guess the universe, right? Or the galaxy? A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Maximize forward torpedoes! <laughs> Here's their cores. So now we're, we're basically just hammering them so hard they're not gonna be able to rebuild. Look at this! Look at this! The pieces are falling from the gunship! And the Camino facility is just getting absolutely worked, and you can see the two cores right here. They're finally getting- beginning to be exposed. We are finally turning this battle around. It took a long time, and we had to- There we go, that laser's gonna cut through them like butter. There we go. Come on. Some of these rockets have to begin to start- Ooh, those ones are good. <laughs> oh, we've never done a mass rocket strategy, and this is really, really fun. Alright. And now the laser picks its target. I think it was online. Now the rockets do their thing. Just oh, we we've got the rock, we've got the core exposed. This core, look at this, the Camino facilities, man. That gunship wasn't enough to. It was maybe enough combined to hold off like one CIS cruiser, but not this upgraded dreadnought that we've done. All right, this hopefully will be it. Oh, it's a little a little too high. So these rocket barrages are going in again. The core is exposed, both of them. They're taking their hits, and then this is the big daddy. There we go. <laughs> the rocket torpedoes again. Oh! Three cores? No way! Yes! Oh! <laughs> Three nukes going off at once. That is the Battle of Kamino. Guys, let me know your suggestions for the next Forts video. They are so much fun. I just wish we had more to do in the single player situation here on forts i really think that the devs could really do some really really cool like single player pve or even like co-op stuff where you and your buddies could do like i think they need to embrace more of the ships and even like grab like i don't know uh, it's just there's so many possibilities and look at just what we've done with 
you know, Rage Alert, the map making extraordinaire, and just our imaginations. Like, imagine if there was more control and more options for these ships. Anyway, guys, by the way, one mod, mod maker, I would love someone to make an engine. Like, something that fires, but it, it uses gravity, it, it uses thrust as opposed to a weapon. Someone needs to do that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.